Americans spent $3.3 trillion on healthcare in 2016. And 10 years later, they'll be spending $5.7 trillion, according to estimates. That's partly because of a complex behind-the-scenes network of administrators and insurers who set costs. If there's an upside, it's that it's created a whole new career field, patient advocates, whose job it is to help people navigate the badly tangled American healthcare system. If you are a Medicare member, press 1. If you are calling for medical benefits, including vision, press 2. If you are calling for pharmacy information only, press 3. I press 0. I transfer you to the representative trained to answer your call. Please say or enter your member ID number. Karen Vogel used to work in insurance. She was a strategic account executive and helped companies keep their health care costs down. But two years ago, she quit to help individual patients navigate the healthcare system. I represented the bottom line of the company I was working for, and I decided I would rather use my powers for good than evil. I was unable to validate this information. Please re-enter your member ID number if you don't. I always tell people you can be the smartest person in the world, but when you enter the healthcare system and you are sucked into a vortex, you need help. Patient advocates can be a very effective tool to get to answers very quickly. Please continue to hold. Your call will be answered in the order received. Good afternoon. My name is Jennifer. How may I help you today? Hi, Jennifer. My name is Karen Vogel. I'm a patient advocate, and I'm calling on behalf of member Laura Rowley. Usually when I talk to people in the insurance world, they are relieved because I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to sue them. And I'm typically talking with people that are banging their heads against the wall, too. I just need to speak to someone who's handling appeals. There is so much paperwork in healthcare. It's medical documentation systems that don't talk to each other. It's the need for claims processing. It's the attempts of different doctors to talk to each other in their own language. About one quarter of what I deal with are simple errors. Things that were done wrong or handled wrong, they're easy to fix. Yes, thank you. You have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. I do manage to get people most of what they're seeking. At times, that can be a few thousand dollars. Other times, that can be forty dollars or $50,000. Once you hit your out-of-pocket yeah. maximum, then you don't have to worry about bills, and you don't have to track it as much. I'll still be tracking things to make okay. sure there's no surprises. Okay. Laura Rowley is one of Karen's clients. She has an aggressive form of brain cancer. Before there were binders, there were piles all over the floor. And I would come over and kick the piles and say, no, 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 we have to put this in a binder. There's a big section in here on insurance, and it's not just medical insurance, it's disability. It includes past doctor visits. There's a section on all the contact names that Laura needs to have. My personal advocate folder just for 2018, a little messy right now. Here's a bucket of pills. These are supplements. Here's the binder from the home care agency, and they come visit and help out with tasks around the house. Oh, that's right. Yep, there's so many moving parts. Karen has been so helpful in um, telling me about certain things that I didn't know about and being able to find out uh, there's so much out there that you have to think about all the time. She's pretty much done everything. Unfortunately, our American healthcare system is so fragmented and it's a business and it's about money. It has created an opportunity for advocates, which in a perfect world wouldn't exist. The demand for help navigating the world of healthcare is growing. When the Alliance of Professional Health Advocates was founded in 2009, it had around 30 members. Since then, more than 600 have joined. There have been conferences over time when people were able to get together, but none of them have ever focused strictly on networking. So I applaud you for being at the very first one we've ever had. Advocates typically so bill hourly, anywhere from 75 so really to $400 through. an hour. Go they aren't reimbursed by insurance companies, but they say that keeps their allegiance to the patient. Many are in their second career, leveraging their prior expertise as physicians or nurses where some, like Karen Vogel, focus on dealing with bureaucracy, others help patients make sense of a complex diagnosis, track down specialized care, 
or intervene during life-threatening situations. I was almost dead because the doctors didn't know how to treat me. Robert was walking upstairs and he couldn't make it. Fell back down the stairs. All they knew how to do was throw medication at it. I was up to a thousand pills a month. Robert Doyle was born with a genetic bone disorder that causes painful growths on his joints. He's gone through nearly a dozen surgeries. We trusted the doctors and it wasn't working. I, I would spend hours and hours and hours dealing with the insurance company and, and we, wouldn't, we wouldn't get anywhere. It was just really kind of left up to me. Last year, Robert's mom, Mary Murphy, searched online for a patient advocate and found Anne-Marie McElwain. Patient advocate, is Anne-Marie speaking? Anne-Marie specializes in coordinating complex care and took Robert on as a client. They work together remotely. I thought we would uh, we'd start with an update on how you're doing, since the big difference from the last time you saw Dr. Cowan today is that you've done TMS. Yes, it, that is that has gone amazingly well, and I have you to thank for that. Thank you. Oh, thanks. She went into these hospitals, into the databases, and looked for the right doctor for me. Yeah. You know, not a doctor that was going to go straight to surgery and cut things out. And so Dr. Cow basically took over all of my care. When I go into an appointment, we immediately call Anne Marie. Hi, Robert. And she's on the phone right when the appointment starts. Hi, Dr. Cow. Thanks again for having me. Where do we want to begin? So, um, we'd like to talk about um, his medication regimen. As you know, Dr. Cow, um, he's been working with you to taper off of it. Now, when it comes to nortriptyline, I think it's probably easier for you to take a softer landing. So, 50 to 40, 40 to 30, 30 20. I think that makes a lot of sense. I think most people don't even consider a patient advocate because they think they think about the cost. That was a big thing for me. Can can we uh, we as a family afford this? But when you look at the part where his medical care was costing so much every month, we didn't have an option. If this person was in our life at the beginning. We, we definitely wouldn't have gone down some of the dark places that, you know, I've been through. 